Why well, I've been posting auctions at 12 hours instead of 48. Hi there, I'm going routes and today we'll be taking a look at why I've been posting auctions at a lower duration than what I usually post. And the reasoning is simple. It's actually because if you're going to get undercut, you're going to get undercut within the first hour of posting and if you're going to make any sales, you're going to make sales within the first hour of posting as well. After that, your chances of selling something is still likely but very slim. So what I've been doing is I took my auctions down to 12 hours and all this really does is this helps me beat the undercutting and it also helps me save a little bit of gold as well. I know it's not a whole lot of gold to post at 48 hours compared to 12 but some items it does make a huge difference so you could be saving yourself quite a bit of gold depending on what it is you were posting. So basically what's been happening is again I've been getting undercut a lot you know it's a new expansion that's to be expected the auction house is regional now so you're gonna have to expect to be undercutted at some point right so instead of getting mad and canceling all of my auctions I post them at 12 hours so that way if they do happen to sell within the time after that first hour it's going to it's still got that slim chance of selling I guess and basically if I post for 12 hours instead of 48 it refreshes my time or it refreshes the auctions based on the undercuts so for example right here I got the simple such bags I got 22 sellers posting at the same price I am so that means more than likely they have posted before me but because I posted at 12 hours instead of 48 I got my bags back sooner than what I normally would have so that means I can post them again and I should start to see some sells so there's that now you're also probably wondering what I meant by auctions costing a little bit here and there maybe some cost more maybe some cost less it just depends on the item well I'll show you that here in just a second because right now you see the deposit is 1328 for all of those bags that I had just posted well what if we were to post something like a bowl, a stack of one order cloth. So right now it's 18, and that's set at 12. But if I was to come here to 48, that's 75 gold for 48 hours. So you're actually saving yourself a good amount of gold by doing that. You know, and that's not even the max amount. That's the max amount, and that's how much it's going to cost me just to post all of that. So if I set it down to 12. That's only 300 gold. That's almost 1k cheaper to post all of that at 12 hours. And again, if you're going to make sales, you're going to make sales within the first hour. Right? So, what's happening is you're basically playing the auction house at this point. And it's allowed me to make a ton of gold and a lot more gold recently than I have in any other expansion when it first released. So I want you guys to keep that in mind as well. Here's another 10k. Here's 132k. Let's go check my DK. I don't think I've sold much on him, but that's kind of aside the point, I guess. You know, nothing major there, but. Um, I have been posting on a couple different characters, which I usually don't post on any more than just one character. Maybe two. It just depends on my mood. But here I've been posting on three. Soon I'm going to be posting on four to five. And hopefully I'll be able to get every profession sorted out and situated so that I'm posting on every profession. So I am really liking this expansion, especially for the gold making, because there's a lot of items that are going to be worth so much in the future still 
that gold making this expansion is a really really good thing you know and I can tell Blizzard focused on that because they knew there's a good majority of people who enjoyed uh, gold making so instead of hurting gold makers this expansion they've actually helped them now a lot of people are complaining saying that that's not the case they've actually hurt gold farming there aren't any farms worth farming and I beg to differ. I'm still making about 100k an hour just through herbalism. And that's not even with my herbs being gold tier. You know, they're still silver tier. And sometimes I'm getting copper tier depending on what herb I pick up. So, I don't understand how it is that people are making less gold than I am when I'm not even trying that hard and these are the same people who said that they used to make a mil a day back in like Shadowlands or something like that you know yeah one mil a day is a lot don't get me wrong but you can't beat how fast these auctions are selling you know like yeah you can get undercut just as quickly like with these inks, I've been getting undercut super quick, like right there. Undercut already. So I'm probably not going to sell those, and probably not going to sell those because I've been undercut. So what what do I do? Instead of getting upset and canceling my auctions, I will look for something else to turn these into, which I already know what to do. But I'm just going over this so that way you guys hopefully can learn a little something new too so if you're having a hard time selling some auctions because people just keep undercutting you and you have a profession that can use that material then go through and look at what you can make with that material and if you can sell it on the auction house and how much you can sell it on the auction house for so right now the best option for me would be to make the Faded Fortune cards. They're selling fairly well. And they're actually selling a lot better than the inks. So the inks have a .02 sell rate, whereas the cards have a .22 sell rate. So I am much more likely to sell off the cards than I am anything else. Um, if you want more guides like this, please let me know, and I'll try my best to come up with them as I will, of course, try really hard to explain more in depth of what it is I do to make gold because it's more than just going out and farming this expansion. There's a lot, of, there's just a lot more to it. You know, I've been buying my materials off the auction house for the most part, and that's how I've been making most of my gold, is I've literally been buying the stuff off the auction house and turning it into a shuffle you know and I thought shuffling was dead this expansion but I think this is it's better than ever you know like if you can't sell materials like raw materials then you go find a profession that uses those materials level up that profession use those materials and sell the trade goods on the auction house that way Sorry guys, that was a lot, but thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.